What up, it's your boy King Tank, and uh, this video I'm gonna teach all about the mind, people's mindsets, like of each the mind, the main mindset of each team. Now, this isn't saying that all team, all players on on each team have a particular mindset. What I'm saying is, is based on what I've seen from most players from each team, as well as from what the the team leader supports. This is what I think describes each team the best and which team you should choose if you haven't chosen one yet. So, as you know, as your boy the Harry Beast known as King Tank always says, let's get it. We're going to talk about each team specifically. I like to make my person match my um, buddy. Right now, my buddy is Grimer. And he's purple. Only the chicks have something purple, so I had to be a chick. So there it is right there. That was the only way I could match him. And boom. I match my buddy. And my nasty buddy. Anyway, so the first team that I'm going to talk about is, and I'm going to make my person match each team color. Of course, the team that I'm a part of, Team Yellow. Let's make this as yellow as possible. Now, when it comes to Team Yellow, the main ideals of Team Yellow is hatching eggs that's the main idea of the yellow team and that's mainly what they uh, I mean mainly what they're all about so the yellow team there there is it's right now in the game it's pretty much a war going on where it's red versus blue and yellow isn't involved in that. See, what happens is, is blues and yellow, I mean, blues and reds, they war against each other, while yellow, we just go around tearing them both apart. Because, see, it's not nearly as much of us as it is blues and reds. But on any given Sunday, you might see a whole block turn yellow. Because that's what we do. We tear up, we tear up gems when we want to. And we could tear up anybody. But we aren't the most vicious when it comes to gems. Our main thing is about having fun. And our the main team goal is hatching eggs. And for many Team Yellow members, it's the funnest part is hatching the eggs. But that's not the only thing. Because the fact is, is Yellow team players are pretty much all around. We not we don't really focus on one type of play. Most of us, the main thing we like is hatching eggs, but we're mainly all around players, as in we're like evenly balanced. We're trying to catch them all as well as take gems. So that's how Team Yellow operates. Now, oh so. If you uh, if hatching eggs is your favorite part, or if you're an all-around player, you don't focus on just catching them all, or you don't focus just on attacking gems, pick Team Yellow. And if you don't want to be in the little war that those two have going on, pick Team Yellow. Now the next thing that I'm going to talk about is Team Valor. Let's make this as red as possible. And boom. So, Team Valor. Team Red is, they match their color. See, red is known as the color of anger, the color of rage, the color of battle, the color of blood. And Team Red is mainly focused on gem battles. The team leader focuses, I mean, the team leader's focus is on training Pokemon to be stronger. And overall, from what I've seen, the team's focus is 
attacking gyms and getting the strongest attacking Pokemon in the game. They're all about high CP and high powered move sets. So if you mainly are playing, like you don't care if you catch them all, if you hatch an egg or you don't, it doesn't matter. All you want to do is fight, fight, fight. Team Red is where you want to be. Team Red is in this war against Team Blue. Neither side really has the edge. See, Team Red. I mean, they both have. Well, they both have the edge in certain places, which overall leaves them pretty balanced. And Team Red's edge is controlling gems. Team Red is more likely to have beefy gems than blue to, than blues are. Like you're most likely like if you see a block, if you go to a random block, you might see three reds and three blues. But those three reds might be level eight gems, while those three blues will probably be level threes. And that's because reds are all about fighting in them gems, leveling them up, hitting hard, and taking them over. Because that's how their mindset is. And then last, but definitely not least, is Team Blue. Now, for Team Blue, the main goal for Team Blue is catching them all. Mainly, majority of Team Blue members just want to catch Pokemon. Some Team Blue members don't even fight gems. Some Team Blue members don't even hatch eggs. Some Team Blue members don't even know how to do either of those. They're just all about catching them all. Now, Blue has the most players by far. Mainly because of the fact that out of the three colors, blue is the most favorite, as well as the fact that red is more of an angrier color and yellow is more of a sunshiny color. People sometimes people try to stay from stuff, stay away from stuff that seem too angry or too happy, so they'll pick towards blue. It's a whole lot of different factors that came into why people chose blue. Band camps. Uh, Follow the leaders, or overall, or just favorite colors. It's tons of different reasons why people chose blue over the other two colors. So that's why mainly people are on Team Blue. But the thing about it is, is a lot, a lot of times, a lot of people see that as, oh, well, then they need to join Team Blue because if they don't join Team Blue, then they're going to be on a team that. It's not as good. But that's not really the case. See, now, Team Blue is definitely a strong team because of their massive numbers. But in their massive numbers, they have the most they have the most laid-back players or players that aren't really hardcore, which leaves room to give Team Red and Team Yellow a chance in combat. See, Team Yellow pretty much has all all serious player I mean all serious players that want to be you know first to clear Pokedex and the first I mean and, and want to uh, control as many gems as possible team red has by far the most people that want to control gems and control them long term so with team blue having the most non-factor players as in players that aren't really in the discussion for clearing the pokedex first or taking over the most gems or anything of that sort just because they have more members does not mean that is better all three of the teams right now are equal footing because most likely if you go if you look all if you look over your city if you live in a big city most likely you'll see on any random air in any random area you'll see blue, red, and yellow gems. Now some areas you might see mostly blue, some areas you might see mostly red, some areas you might see mostly yellow yellow. 
But the fact is, is all three control areas all over. So don't choose team because of how many they have or because of your favorite color. Choose teams because of their method of play. Do you, Are you focused on clearing the Pokédex like Team Blue's leader? Are you focused on battling Jim like Team Red's leader? Are you focusing on hatching eggs like team, and getting the highest IVs like Team Yellow's leader? And overall, if you wanna, if you if if you wanna be on the winning team, there's no way to know which team will win in the end if they have events. So uh, choose wisely. That's it. It's your boy King Tank, and we got shot for no reason. I'm out, baby. P.S. Getting candy from Buddy Pokemon doesn't give experience. Bye.